What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <sighs> wow. And I must say, man, today I'm a little upset, man. I'm a little upset. Um, You know, last night, man, was the first night of the NFL Network's annual Top 100 Players. Um, this year they're doing it a little different. Um, usually they will start, I think like in June or May or April, something like that. And it would be like a 10 week thing every Monday. Well, this year they're doing it like from 10 days leading up to the Hall of Fame game where they're going to do, you know, 10, uh, other players every night, which I think is actually a better idea. I think it's pretty unique. And it's a great way to um to go into the first NFL game, you know, the preseason game while everybody in training camp. Um, last night, you know, you looking at the list and I think they had like Eric Weddle, 100, um, Derrick Henry, 99, Tyler Lockett, 98, uh, Byron Jones from Dallas, 97. And then number 96 popped up. And it was this guy right here, man. This amazing quarterback. Granted, I get it. He only played 10 games. But this guy right here was number 96, man. So y'all mean to tell me, last season, a quarterback coming off of an ACL injury, dealing with a back injury, had one horrible game, the game in New Orleans against the Saints where he had no touchdowns and three interceptions. I'll be the first one to tell you it was the worst game of his career. He looked awful that day. The whole team looked awful. But he still, with that game, he still finished with 21 touchdowns and seven interceptions. You take that game away, one game, 21 touchdowns, four interceptions, yo. And you mean to tell me he number 96? So you mean to tell me last year there were 95 players better than this man right here? <laughs> Y'all got me all the way messed up, man. You see, that's the type of stuff I be talking about. But... It's very disrespectful. It's annoying. Y'all have done better... Not even putting the man on the list at all. You feel me? Like, if you want to low ball, low ball him like that, just don't put him on the list. Just be like, hey, he was hurt. He missed 10 games or six games or whatever. We ain't want to put him on the list. He ain't play enough. Even though I done seen people like Adrian Peterson play one game and still be like number 60-something. I seen Odell Beckham play like four games and still be like number 70 or number 80-something. I seen J.J. Watt play like two games and still be number eight or something, yo. I seen Wentz last year miss three games and was number three. So don't give me that mess like, oh, he was injured, he ain't play enough and this and that. Because I done seen players that played way less games than he did, who didn't perform as decent as he did and be ranked higher than that, yo. So y'all mean to tell me there were 95 players last season that play performed better than Carson Wentz. <laughs> but you know what? It's all good. It's, it's continue. We love the underdog role with the Eagles, man. We love being the underdog, bro. It made me upset because it's like y'all disrespecting our quarterback, though. Y'all completely disrespecting him. I was expecting a man to be like, Probably the 60s or maybe early 70s or something like that. That's what I was expecting. But 96? 96. You telling me 95 players played better than Carson Wentz last year? Nah, bro. 21 touchdowns, 7 picks. Take one horrible game away, 21 touchdowns, 4 picks. In 10 games, yo. Nah, bro. That ain't what's up. <laughs> that... that that's not what's up, man. That's completely, utterly disrespectful. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's see if y'all gonna try to disrespect my other boys like Zach Ertz, Fletcher Cox, and all of them. Let's see what y'all gonna do with them. But putting this man number 96 was completely disrespectful, yo. But you know what? That's fine. You already got people out there saying he ain't earned, he don't deserve the money. You already got people out there, which is fair, but constantly saying he injury prone, he ain't going to stay healthy. You got people out there who saying we should have kept Nick Foles and got rid of Wentz. Now you got people telling me there were 95 players in the NFL better than him last season. But you know what? Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep giving us these underdog masks like we will all the way to a Super Bowl championship, yo. Keep doubting this man. Just keep on doing it. This team we have this year is stacked. We have ballers everywhere. We deep everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We got the, the best, arguably the best offensive line in football. We got some young stud running backs. Some a deep, deep wide receiving core. We got the best tight end group in the NFL. And, you know, we're going to have a solid defense with one of the best play callers out there in Dougie P. This man was number three last year before his injury. You mean to tell me he 96 this year? Man, y'all should have just kept him off the list if y'all going to play that man like that, bro. But it's all good. The season training, we, oh, we, go, we um, go on to training camp tomorrow. We start practicing Thursday. Let's see if he going to be number 96 this season, you feel me? I'm looking forward to it, and there's more of a chip on this man's shoulder when he already been carrying some stuff. Y'all just gave him more stuff to carry, more reasons to go out there and ball out and lead this team to hopefully another Super Bowl win with him being under center this time, yo. Keep it coming, haters. Keep it coming. But um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy and give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Eagles content throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly. Trying to play my boy wins, man. Let's get it.